Now the O3 is most likely packed into a cardboard box like this. And once you've got the kit out of the box, lay it down with the logo facing up and then just pull the sleeve off just like that. And then lift the lid. So this is a red lid that holds it nicely during transportation. And you'll see it there. It's all neatly packed. It's time to unpack the lot and set it up. And this here is your base. It is an absolute beauty. It's a work of art with a really thick baseboard for the center. It is a really rigid, stable platform. And the first thing is to screw on the base connector with these stainless steel screws. The first thing to do is to make sure that all the screws line up. Now you might have that in the wrong sort of facing, in the wrong way. So just make sure you check the screws should be lined up with the holes with the connector. And then start screwing them in one at a time. Don't rush it, this is the most important part of setting this up because this is gonna, what's well, gonna make this whole thing super stable. Once you've got all your screws in all the way, it is quite a job to get it done. Now it's time to insert your mast. The mast goes in just a little bit side off to where the hole is. Push the buttons down, push the mast all the way in and then twist it until the push buttons pop out on the sides and then just make sure that you tighten that clamp the hose clamp around that collar nice and tight let me just show you so that's just got to be nice and tight there that's what you want that's going to give you that beautiful rigid stable base and it's time to now set up your sandbags now in this case i'm actually using a couple of water bags inside the sandbags. You can see, you can see them there. And it's just a new way that I've started doing um, as an option, selling these. These are extremely um, tough water bags. You can, they've the run a car over it to, to show how tough these are. These are optional. And basically place one on the, on the base and then place the other one on the opposite side. And you've got these handles. So you Velcro them together and then you use the handles to put around the mast and that stops it from slipping off. So put the Velcro around, one, the other, and then do the same for the other one. Now the O3 kit comes with the KS3 spring, two click bars and a red bar. Just gonna put the red bar aside for now. Basically you start off uh, with the click bars. Put one click bar in and click it in at whatever height you need. You can adjust the height later on. I'm just gonna put it low down to be able to demonstrate. So let's say it's that height. The next thing you do is you click your spring onto the click bar. Now you cannot put a red bar in there. That's the click bar needs to go there because that's where you need all that strength. And that's the, the shortest sort of uh, setting that you can have that I've got it on at the moment. And at the top, you put your click bar in and then your adapter will go on the top with your bolt, which I'll show you how to set that up. Before I do that, I just wanna show you the red bar. And the red bar is designed to uh, provide a shorter length of the top, it's lighter than the click bar and it's gonna move faster. Now I've tried to make these as tight a fit as possible. And some of them are actually quite tight. If it feels like it's too tight, don't try to shove it in, just use a bit of sandpaper and sand it lightly around the end that's gonna go into your spring to make it easier fit. Once you've got sand down a little bit, then it should fit and then you can set the setting. You can see this one here is still pretty tight. And we got it in, okay. But what that means, the tightness is 
actually good because that means there's not going to be any sort of movement between the spring and your top bar and that's pretty important for rigidity. The top part of it where the adapter goes and I'll show you how to put the ball in it, that's not as tight and that's to do with the manufacturer of this adapter. But what you can do is you could just wrap a bit of uh, duct tape around this section here and this section here to make a much tighter fit as well. So you can have that being a very tight fit as well. I mean, it's already pretty good on the lower setting, but on the higher setting, there's maybe a little bit of wobble there. So you could just tighten it with a bit of tape, give it that nice tight feel. But here, it's, quite, it's gonna be quite tight. In fact, it might be a little bit too tight so um, I'm still trying to work out the right tightness. If you are having trouble with that, just um, use a bit of tight, uh, use a bit of sandpaper. The sand. It. Oh, there we go. Now let me show you how to set up your ball and adapter. This is pretty important to get this right because if you don't, the zip could end up um, opening up, splitting open. So unzip it. There's a tongue in there. You want to pull that out. Make sure that sits on the outside of the rim of the adapter. The rim is flexible and that's designed to be this way. Um, so what you do is you put the adapter in and then just pull your bladder. Make sure the bladder is on the inside of the adapter. Make sure it's not caught between the adapter and the ball. And then just push the adapter in using your thumb like this, push it in, making sure that the tongue is on the outside. And there we go. Okay. And that tongue is there to protect the zip. The pressure from the inside, once you inflate it, holds um, the zip together better. So the zip is designed to have that tongue on the inside. Once you've got the tongue there and you've got it all in, just zip it up. Zip it up as far as it will go. It might not go all the way. It might go to about there. Just put your clasp like that and then you put your Velcro over the top. I also recommend just running some tape over the top. But first, before you do anything, just check, make sure nothing is caught. Just fiddle like that and then inflate it. Inflate it partly and then just check again and then inflate it fully. And there you go, I've just pumped it up and I've wrapped the bottom with some electrical tape. That'll hold, hold it there nice and neat way and be coming apart. And in terms of how you wanna, how much you wanna inflate it, you don't want it to be overly tight, like rock hard so that the stitches start coming apart, but just, just nice and firm so that when you're punching it, it's got a nice feel to it. And that's designed to stay nice and sturdy, like straight when you're punching, so it comes back all based on the design of the adapter. What a beautiful bit of kit. Okay, once you've got your ball ready to go onto the top of your Cobra bag, I'm using the red bar here just to show you I've got some tape at the bottom and the top just to make it a little bit tighter. I wanted to cut out any sort of wiggle room in there. And that's what you can do, just a basic, simple uh, thing you can do. You can adjust how much tape you want on there to adjust the tightness. As you can hear, that's nice and tight. And finally, there's one more accessory that comes with the O3 kit, and that is the Olympic sleeve. And basically what that allows you to do is to slip that onto the mast just above your sandbags. So take that off, slip that on, and then you can put an Olympic weight plate on top of it. And that's just gonna give you extra weight, extra sturdiness, or if you don't wanna fill the sandbags to the maximum, you could just fill them halfway and then use a couple of these on top. And they work pretty well. Anyway, you still do need the sandbags to create that little bit of cushioning between the base Oh, well, between the base connector and the Olympic white plate sleeve. Without the cushioning, it's just gonna wobble a little bit. Lastly, I just wanna mention about these wheels that you can attach to the back panel of the octobase, the wooden base. I've made the back wall 
especially thick, so you could attach these caster wheels. I recommend going for large caster wheels about that big. Uh, you can get these from most hardware stores. You want, the, you want the ones that don't rotate around the axis and you want them attached to the back wall. And that gives you the ability to be able to cart away or wheel away the Cobra bag without having to um, disassemble it. Make sure that they're not actually hitting the floor, um, that when you attach them, they're not punching into the floor so that it's not lifting up that side of the Cobra bag. But these are amazing. I've got them at the local boxing gym and they can be wheeled to the side of the room, out of the way when the Cobra bag's not being used. Well, I hope this video helps you set up the O3. The Culus is an amazing bit of kit, but it does require you to set it up correctly, especially the base and the ball. Now, if you've got any questions, any concern, or anything that you want to ask me, just go to culus.com and contact session, get in touch, and I'll answer you straight away.